Hey guys, day seven of our brooding right here on the farm. And today we have quite a number of activities. Well, two main activities. Number one, we're going to be vaccinating the birds against Newcastle and IB, IB being infectious bronchitis. And number two, we're going to be expanding our brooder. Yeah? So the birds have been thirsty for quite some time. And right now I'm from the vet from picking my vaccines, you know. The vaccines are inside this polythene bag inside here. Um, well, it's just two vials. The rest of it is ice to ensure that they, you know, they don't get warm and they are at the right temperature. So without wasting any time, you know, um, I'll just lock the door right here. Yeah. So without wasting any time, let's get inside and vaccinate the birds. You know, uh, they have been quite thirsty. So the most important thing during vaccination is that each and every one of the birds needs to, you know, take some of the water. You don't want some birds to take and others not to take, not take. That's why it's important to make sure that the birds are thirsty so that when it reaches the time of the birds taking the water, all of them are yearning and looking for the water. And you're going to see that very evidently. So we'll just measure an amount of water and then we'll mix the vaccine, put it inside uh, the drinkers and then we'll distribute the drinkers all around the chicken house so that all the birds can get access to the vaccine as soon as possible. So these are the drinkers that we're going to be using these are our chick drinkers that are going to distribute all over the house you know just a little bit of the vaccine all over the chicken house we're going to be using this jerry can so we're going to be using a 20 liter jerry can we have 3,000 doses of the vaccine and uh, we're just going to be using this water so what we're going to do is pour the water inside here then we'll open the vaccine under water mix it under the water and then we'll distribute it inside the drinkers and put it inside the chicken house as soon as possible so you know, um, my colleague right here is opening the vaccine. As you can see, this is really, really easy. You know, some people mix it with water for injection, but it's not really necessary to use water for injection. Yeah. So that's our vaccine inside there. And as you can see, these are ice packs, you know. These are huge ice packs. Another one over here, another one. Just to make sure that the vaccine remains cold. Okay. So... I'm going to open some water in here. And that's the rest of the water that we're going to be using to vaccinate. You just want the water to be present for about 20, 30 minutes inside the chicken house. Not too long, yeah? When it remains for too long, then the vaccine is inactivated. If it remains for too short, then only the big strong buds will have enough to drink. So uh, that's the vaccine over there. We'll open it up. Okay. So that's a thousand doses. We have 3,000, so we'll go on to the next one right now okay two thousand doses so far remember we have three thousand and eight hundred buds yeah three thousand two thousand and eight hundred buds about that so these vials come in doses of a thousand, nothing less than a thousand. So we can either do two thousand or three thousand. So better more than less. So we had to get three thousand doses in order to serve our two thousand eight hundred bags. So yeah, that's the third one. Good. There we go. So we've got our vaccine. Then we. We can mix it inside the water. Good. So now we don't have too much time. We need to go and distribute the water inside the chicken house. And since we are just two, I need to put the camera down somewhere so that I join and help with the work. So come on, let's get out. So you can already see that we are already distributing the water very quickly. You see all the birds running towards the one drinker that has been served out. Let me just show you guys. So I'll do this quick. So that I get back to helping, yeah? Because the most important thing is doing the work. 
but see how the birds are fighting over the drinker of water. Take a look at all that. Yeah? So the birds are thirsty. Let's just see this right now. Take a look at all the birds. They are very, very, very thirsty. Yeah? So I'll just join. So I'll just join and help to, you know, get the, the, the water out inside the house. trying to be as fast as we can you know so guys we are done with distributing the drinkers you can see them all around the chicken house yeah and the birds are desperately wanting the water take a look at that that's what you want yeah but you'll find a few of the birds scattered on the side of the chicken house so what we shall do is just and this is simply to to you know get the birds that are sleeping in the corners like here to move so that they also go and get a test of the water before it gets over yeah so i'll just move around yeah you want all the birds and it's during movements like this that you'll discover you know a bird like this one that has died i don't know what the, the problem could be maybe I don't know, maybe it was weak or the colleagues stepped on it but it's important that you get all the birds to move so that they all get to drink the water. So we'll just move around again. You see all of them struggling to move, uh, but you can see them around the drinkers. For example, these ones struggling all to get a taste of the water. Take a look at that. All of them, they are super thirsty, very, very thirsty. And that's what you want because you want all the birds to test the water, yeah? Uh, we have another one over here that has died. We'll pick it up. You know, mortalities once in a while happens because it's a lot of birds, you know, 2,800 birds. You can't have all of them, you know, survive and go through it. The problem is if the mortalities are abnormal. So some of the birds are very sleepy like this, but when you move around, they all start running around. So you don't want birds hiding in the corners. Hey guys, get out of the corners. Get out, get out, get out. Everyone, get out. Let's go and drink. Go and drink, go and drink. Yeah, so that's it, guys. So now the birds are all, you know, the ones that were in the corners are out of the corners. We are sure that they all have a chance to drink the water. So we are seeing a lot of them around the drinkers. You know, take a look at that. That's what you want. That's the kind of sight you want. All the birds desperate to drink water. So the vaccine we are giving is Newcastle Stroke Infectious Bronchitis. Very, very important vaccine because infectious bronchitis causes a chronic respiratory disease. And when the birds get the disease, man, they're in proper trouble, serious trouble. So you want to avoid it as much as possible. You don't want the birds to get such a chronic respiratory illness. The second one is Newcastle disease. Very, very terrible viral disease. If the birds get it, they can die. You can lose 90% of the birds. And it can be given either in drinking water or eye drops or nose drops. For such a huge number of birds, it's quite difficult to do it in nose drops. The other option to do is spraying, but, well, we've done it in drinking water since it's the easiest and quickest option. And you need to make sure most of the birds get to drink the vaccine. So like I said, the most important thing is to have all the birds at least take a sip of the water. And how do you ensure that? By fasting them, making sure that the birds are very, very thirsty uh, before you start giving them the vaccine. So you need to take a water for maybe two, three hours, uh, usually in early in the morning. So in the morning, you can get the vaccine, uh, distribute the vaccine inside the drinkers, give them water, enough to take them around 30 minutes you know not shorter than that because if you give shorter than that some of the birds are smaller others don't have you know as much drive so those ones will be pushed away and if the water gets done in five ten minutes those birds haven't drunk and then they won't take the vaccine also if you keep the water around for too long then the water gets spoiled you know the vaccine gets this deactivated so give just the correct amount of water you know water that will be present for maybe about 30 minutes after that get the drinkers away because it's it's now useless so right now they are drinking the water yeah they have been exposed to food but they are drinking the water and after maybe 30 minutes from the point we started giving the vaccine we're going to take the vaccine away and then um we shall start expanding the room 
So yes, guys, that's it. Once in a while, you'll have bad days. So it's not uh, crazy. You shouldn't be very sad that once in a while you're having birds die uh, inside the chicken house. Although it's not more than 2% during brooding, that's the goal. You shouldn't lose more than 2% of your population during brooding, yeah? Less than 2%, perfect. Less than 1%, perfect. You can do 0%, perfect. The likelihood is very low, unless you have very few birds that you'll have 0%. But hey, that's, that's it. So um, today is day seven. We're also supposed to be doing weighing today. Hopefully we'll be able to do it, yeah? We'll see if we can do it. If we can't, then we'll have to do it tomorrow. But we want to do it today. So some of the drinkers that we distributed earlier are already empty. For example, this. I think this was the very first drinker we put down. And if you can see it, nothing inside it. So we'll just get it out, you know, as they keep taking the rest of the drinkers. The ones that get empty, we get them out. So this can move out right now okay over there and this one is now empty you know so that they they pay more attention to the drinkers that have water instead of paying attention to drinkers that have nothing like this you know you just get them out okay get this out meanwhile this is our water with the vitamins so we've mixed vitamins inside here. Now that these drinkers are out, we're just going to clean them up a bit. Then you're going to switch them to water with vitamins because what vaccines do is that they stress the body because a vaccine is literally a small dose of the disease. And so the bird will develop some form of, you know, reaction to getting that disease. And so the vitamins kind of strengthen the body and reduce the stress on the body of the chickens. That's why it's important that every time you give a vaccine, you give vitamins after that. So we'll just clean these drinkers up, uh, and after that we're going to put out the vitamins, and then we're going to expand the room. All right guys, so uh, 30 minutes are done, and we can check. You know, some of the drinkers are almost empty, like this one, you know? This one is almost empty. It's not really empty, but almost empty. Um, even this one, no, this one has still has some water. I wouldn't say it's a lot, but it has some water. This one is literally empty. Yeah. This one is also very empty. And this one has some water. Yeah. So this is what you want. Yeah. It, can, it shows that the birds were really thirsty and they drank most of the water. But they're now not too thirsty that they still need more water because we still have water around and you're not seeing birds around the drinkers. Of course, you'll see occasional ones running to the drinkers, but they're not like super thirsty, so eager for the water. So that means that most of them have drunk. Yeah, most of them are drunk. So right now, we can actually get our drinkers out. Yeah, so my colleague right there is helping to get the drinkers out. Yeah, so just getting the drinkers away. You, you need to try to avoid spilling the, the vaccine in the chicken house. So that's what we are doing, you know? Getting the drinkers out, then you're going to be replacing them with water with vaccines. All right, guys, so we are done with distributing the water for the vitamins, the vaccination is done. The birds generally are very comfortable. And next up, we're just going to be taking the weights, yeah? We're going to be taking maybe 100 birds, maybe a little bit more than that, you know? Um, in order to get the average weight of the birds, to calculate what the average weight is. Once we're done doing the average weight, then we're going to expand out, yeah? So um, we're just going to expand that side. Almost, um, you know, expand the area by about a third of what we already have. So that we get a bit more spacing, and then the work for the day literally is going to be done. The main thing that will be left will be just putting in feed and water inside the drinkers. So come on, let's get on with it. So right here is our weighing scale. Here we go. So this is our weighing scale, and it measures the weight in, uh, in grams, you know. If I put something up here, ah, I need to power it on. This is the power button. Yeah, and if you put something on the top, you can see the weight is in grams. And our maximum weight is five kilograms. And this is the notebook where we're going to be taking our weights. And whatever we wear, we shall be throwing it over there just to make sure that we are not repeating the weights. And we're going to be doing random sampling, you know, just picking birds randomly from different parts of the chicken house. And we only need a hundred of them. So we'll, you know, we'll start taking our weights. Okay. Okay, cool. So that's our weight. Our first one is 58. You know, 
and just pick them randomly. There's another one there going on. 63. So we'll just pick them randomly and I won't bore you guys with the actual taking measurements, but we'll just pick them randomly, you know, all over the house and take the weights and then we'll get done with this. So we are done taking our weights. We've recorded our weights right there. So these are the 150 that we've measured. So we'll just release them from their prison right there. So here you can take, you can see our measurements. Yeah. So we're just going to calculate to take the average measurement it's somewhere in the 60s you know maybe 63 64 somewhere around there but we'll see how well it is you know just looking at the figures so here are the birds the next step right now is simply to expand this brooder and the major work for today will be done so let's just get on to that um, maybe i'll let the guys expand you know it's simply moving the tarpaulin as i calculate the average weight <laughs> So here we are, you can see the birds right here and the expansion is going on right here. This is the tarpaulin we've moved over. This entire space is free. So they are moving that also to the side right here. And you can see all the birds skewed to that side. Actually, it's going to take a few minutes or even at least some hours for them to get used to the fact that all this space is available for them. Yeah, so one by one and slowly they're going to move this side, but with a lot of resentment, it's like, no, they're not used to the idea that they have all this space. But slowly by slowly they'll get to come. We'll expand and put more feeders this side, put more drinkers this side. So right there they're going to be putting up the top lane. Also the other thing is that I've done the average weight and it's 62.17. Now that's a little bit below our target where the minimum is 64 and the maximum is 67. That's two grams off, but two grams off is not too bad. Ideally, we considered our day one, the day on which the birds hatched. And so day seven, ideally, is day six on the farm for us. Day seven is day six on the farm. A lot of people will calculate their day one as the day on which the birds arrive. For us, our day one is the day on which the birds were hatched because it's day one of life for the farm. So we know that we are, you know, we're not badly off, yeah? It's objective. If we had taken these weights tomorrow, we would be significantly above the 62 you know maybe by five grams or so so i'm not worried about it i know that we're going, we can play catch up you know uh we are doing quite well so we're just going to continue with our expansion right there you can see the space right behind me where they have now done the expansion all the birds are skewed to this one side but they are slowly going to expand to this side and we shall be good we shall be good this is now going to be enough space for them to enjoy themselves and you know just enjoy the life that they're going to be having don't forget to hit the subscribe button smash the notification bell that way you never miss out on an upload lots of love bye bye